All right, tonight we are going to take a look at another Beast Wars Transmetal 2 figure. This is the Heroic Maximal Stink Bomb. Yes, that's right. This is a Transmetal transforming Autobot skunk with a chrome tail from hell. And his head literally coming out of his ass. So, first thing you'll notice is the chrome tail. This is a... Ah! I dropped you. I apologize. I'm not editing that out. Uh, is, uh, you'll notice is the chrome tail. I think it's there's parts of it that are mistransformation. Uh, there's some obvious things here. Um, it's got good articulation. Now, this thing is very old, and the ball joints on this definitely need some floor polish or some of that stuff they sell now uh, because it's just so loose. He's super loose. But the chrome actually looks pretty good. And you've got a little bit of white down his tail. Eh, focus. you got some white on his tail. Because uh, he's a skunk, so he's got the white here. Uh, they did a lot of the mechanical in yellow and a little bit of gold. Uh, he's got red eyes. You can come back here and flip this side up to see that he is indeed a heroic maximal. Cool little feature they did. Kind of like a reveal the shield, but a little bit different. Uh, so there you go. Uh, these guys are generally cheap. Uh, I've only seen a couple of them, though. I didn't even know this was a thing. It's one of the ones I don't really put in my collection, but I got it for the kids. Uh, they liked it. They thought it was cool. So I've got this and uh, a Transmetal 2 Cheetor and a frog that we'll take a look at uh, in another video. So this is the Maximal Stink Bomb. So he's got good articulation in robot mode, or in, in alt mode beast mode his tail goes up and down uh, again I don't have any of the weapons or anything let's take a look in robot mode all right here we have stink bomb in robot mode uh, so first thing you'll notice is he's got the best hair of anybody uh, I don't think I have the back right but um, it's a bit tight and this is a very old figure and I'm a little bit worried about breaking him so we've got the Ponytail from hell. Um, when you transform him, I do this. I put these little pipes kind of pointing up. I just think it looks cool. I don't think they're supposed to be. They're probably supposed to rotate back or something. But I like them pointed up. Um, he has this really weird face. And there's teeth in there. And he's wearing a superhero mask. And he's actually really tiny. And we'll get into that into the, the comparisons here in a second. But if you, you know, if you compare him to even other figures in the line in robot mode, he's really small. And he's ball jointed all over the place, so he's got articulation. Uh, again, I don't have any of the weapons or anything. But, uh, yeah, he's a neat little bit. He's a neat little bot. Glad we never saw him on the show. As far as I remember, he was never on any of the shows. But I'm really glad he wasn't, because that face. Oh my god, that face. That grin. The teeth. Let's compare him to some... some Let's compare him to some stuff. Alrighty then. So let's compare him first to uh, let's see, one of his wave mates and another figure that uh, I've reviewed or may be reviewing, depending on the order I put these videos out. Uh, we've got Transmetal 2. No! Transmetal 2 Cheetor. Uh, and you'll see Cheetor is bigger than he is. But these are still pretty small because here is the Generation Selects. G2 version of Ramjet. Way bigger. Here's here's Kingdom Cheetor. Come on, Who's a pretty small bot. So you've got that. Um, who else? Who else should I grab for to do this? I don't even know at this point. Um, oh, God. Not again. I'm I'm sorry. It's just the interrupting dinosaur. He's just mad. Just ignore him. Um let's see, here's the Walgreens red alert. I think this scale sort of works. I think he's really, really small. But he was, you know, probably a smaller I don't even remember what class he is. The class has changed so often. So there you go. If you pick him up and you think he's a neat little just thing to have, since he is a transforming skunk, which is pretty kind of awesome, 
Um, if you find one, get one. So uh, go check out tformers.com. They're doing 25th anniversary of Beast Wars, which is uh, why you're going to see a lot of Beast Wars and Beast Wars related content from me this month. Uh, you should find lots of other stuff from other awesome creators over there. Go check it out, tformers.com. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and YouTube, YouTube and links below for merch, t-shirts. Uh, I am doing a giveaway for t-shirts. If I see you at TFCon wearing one of my t-shirts, uh, I will give you a limited edition roller for free. I just walk up and hand it to you and say hi. Um, so I'm printing those off alongside other things right now. So I will have a bunch of them for TFCon. Hopefully I will need to have a bunch of them for TFCon. That would be nice. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, YouTube, 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 and good night.